there train fans welcome back to the channel other side of the tracks i'm chris it is fourth of july weekend so i thought i'd celebrate by bringing out this big box behind me i got into trains last year in 2022 the first thing i purchased was actually for my daughter a frozen 2 train set which you can see on this channel but two days after i ordered that train i was like i need something for myself and this behind me is what i purchased back on january 31st 2022 so uh, this set includes the first locomotive I ever purchased for myself, and this is a Yingling theme set. And uh, I must have been missing Yingling, um, moving from uh, Pennsylvania back to Texas. Uh, at that time, Yingling was not available in Texas. Subsequently, uh, Yingling did start distributing in Texas finally, so uh, <laughs> I can always get my Yingling fix. But let's go ahead and take a look at this set. There were three sets put out, and this. Uh, three Yingling sets put out uh, over the years in the 80s, 90s, and 2000s. Uh, this is the middle set. This is the K-Line Signature Series Yingling set, which was put out one piece at a time uh, between, I believe, 1993 and 1998 or so. So let's go ahead and see what we got. All right, well, since I had this before my channel, I had opened it and it has been run before. So it's not going to be a formal uh, unboxing kind of video, but uh, with these items, you can put out these little certificates of authenticity that they include with uh, each one of the pieces. So, and they had the uh, years of the items. Get these items out of here. We got, uh, yay. Here we go, the Yingling Premium Light Beer Covered Hopper. We got the Yingling Porter Caboose. Very cool. It was on the back there. 1997 was the year of the caboose. This uh, covered hopper is 96. See here, here we got a nice tank car, which is the Yingling Logger. Let's see here on this one. Oh, right there. Here we go. 1992. Uh, this had a little sticker on it, limited edition sticker. Box car, Yingling Black and Tan. Looks like 1993. Ooh. Yingling also put out this real oddball <laughs> passenger car. The Lord Chesterfield Ale Vista Dome Car which doesn't really match the signature series. It doesn't match the passenger train series, which was the third and final Yingling set that came out with. So it's just kind of, kind of random. This is a uh, 1995. Ooh, it was a bonus item. A lot of packing peanuts. This set also included Oop, it falls out. This vehicle here, a black and tan, old school Ford. Lots of peanuts. So this is part of the Millennium Series. So um, K-Line had a lot of different uh, beer trucks they came out with at the same time, as well as uh, Ertl. If I'm pronouncing that correctly. And this is actually a, uh, it could be a coin bank or something. I don't know. They got this slot here on top. Unless something was supposed to be inserted in there. Okay. And then last and not least, top off the Yingling Signature Series is this cool 
Yingling K-Line steam engine. It may be 027, but uh, it's a really fine looking steam engine. I really like the colors on it, all the Yingling details, great livery. <laughs> So this steam engine, 1998. All right, well, let's clear this off the table. We'll take them out. Here we have our glorious pile of K-Line signature series items, plus our <laughs> oddball Yingling Lord Chesterfield Ale Vista Dome. But with this set I purchased, there was actually one item missing. So I had to make a Separate purchase on eBay to complete the set. And here we go. The Yingling Signature Series boxcar. Yes. Now we got it 100%. <laughs> now just for a little added context, just after Keenline wrapped up doing this Signature Series in 1998 or so, and before they started doing the Passenger Train Series, they did come out with one extra item, which was this Yingling 170th Anniversary Riveted Tank Car, which looks simply amazing. Uh, I'm not going to run this car. It's in mint condition. Uh, someday I uh, will buy some used one to specifically run with these other freight cars. But this one, I'm just going to go ahead and set aside and actually preserve it just because I think it, it just looks so awesome. And it even comes with this little display case, which is pretty cool. Uh, beer sold separately. <laughs> All right, we see here this sticker again, 1992 limited edition signature series. So just as with the first set and later with the third Yingling sets, these were released one car at a time, one per year. So you had to keep going back and purchasing them uh, year after year to get a full set. They didn't just sell the set all together at once. So the first set, which we'll talk about in greater detail some other time, uh, was purchased exclusively from the Yingling Factory gift shop in Pottstown, Pennsylvania. Uh, a bit more uh, wide stream here with the Sing uh, Yingling uh, Signature Series set. So these are a lot more common as compared to the first uh, set, which was made in the 80s, which is another uh, freight train set. And of course the Final set, which is a passenger car train set, is also uh, fairly fairly common as well, and you can find them on eBay and, and other places as well. But yeah, you had to buy them each year to get the, the full set. First set, only from the factory. These were more widespread. All right, well, let's go ahead and get these out of the box. It's actually been a while since I've had my Yingling set on the track. I don't think I've had them out since I've done the channel, so it's been over a year. Gotta say that the tank car is one of my favorites. Um, great colors on it. Of course it's the original lager which is uh, what I drink uh, when I drink a Yingling. And I think it matches the steam engine very well. Okay so yeah it's your typical tank car. Has a year of 1994 on it for production. Pretty sweet. Oh, lids open. There we go. So yeah, it's your typical K-Line 027 car. Has an okay detail. Here we go. Our 165th year <laughs> in 1994. Uh, very soon, Yingling's going to be celebrating their 200th year. Um, as they've been around since 1829. So just a few more years, in 2029, it'll be 200 years old. And who knows, maybe Yingling will decide to uh, put out another train set since it's been a few years. That would be nice. All right, next ship, here we got the black and tan. So again, 027 boxcar. Has that beautiful Yingling eagle on it with a beer barrel. <laughs> I have to admit, I've never tried any of the other Yingling brands. Black and Tan, Porter, etc. Light. I've only had the regular lager. Oh, 
Okay, next up, we've got our covered hopper here. Yeah, they're a little dusty. I think these had been on display with its prior owner. Okay, here is the caboose. No train set is complete without a caboose now. I like that the road number on the caboose is eight. 1829, which is of course the year Yingling was founded. Okay, so this car came out in 97. It is illuminated. Okay, here is that oddball Lord Chesterfield Ill Vista Dome. So I'll take it out here. So Again, it's that typical O27 scale. Damn. Yeah. All right. Here's this real oddball Lord Chesterfield Ale. Passenger car, which was put out at the time they were doing this series, which doesn't really match anything. Probably more appropriate to run it with the passenger train set, which came out later, but it just doesn't match that either. So, yeah, very dusty. <laughs> um, when I ran this previously, I found that uh, there's a loose contact here, the ground. So this will short out um, the transformer line. So unless I can uh, get that tacked on there, which uh, I have no skills <laughs> for that. Uh, this won't be running. I have no equipment to solder and I've never tried soldering before. I'm sure it's pretty easy, but uh, to buy the stuff, it's cheaper just to buy a replacement car. So, since the Lord Chesterfield Ale car is unrunnable, I just went ahead and bought another one. So I found one for uh, like 30 bucks on eBay, plus shipping. Here we go. So even though it's an oddball, now I got one that I can actually run on the tracks. Over here, this is in uh, pretty good shape. I think those are supposed to fall out. It's really, really secure in that styrofoam. Yeah, this is a uh, this is in brand new condition. No dust. 
these pickup couplers. I don't know if you can catch it on the camera here. And wheels are brand new, factory mint condition. And looks like both grounds are connected, so <laughs> won't short out the line. Just gotta install these pieces here. All right, let's go ahead and get this other box car that we added to the set. You can see here an adhesive mark on the box where it used to have one of these limited edition signature series stickers, uh, just like this box did with the, um, what was this, the tank car. But uh, fortunately it fell off with age. <laughs> so let's get this uh, box car out. Uh, this box car, by the way, looks nearly identical to a box car that was put out with the prior series, the first series. But we'll uh, we'll get into that some other time. lettering on this car. Okay, we'll add to the rest of the set here. Okay, finally, let's go ahead and get this engine out of the box. So originally, this would have come with a little remote uh, to operate like the whistles, but uh, unfortunately with this unit, it is missing. But we can still operate that from the transformer. Oh yeah. This is one of the nicest looking engines. <laughs> a little dusty, so pretty cool. Tender. Excellent. Okay. Ready? Here's our engine on the track. It is a four six two locomotive. That's four wheels in the front. We have six driving wheels and then two in the back under the cab. So that's technically known as a Pacific style locomotive. So since it's 027, it's not, you know, to any kind of proper scale. It's a little bit smaller. So the locomotive itself is about 10 inches in length. Plus you got the tender here, which is, you know, almost seven inches you know, if you factor in the, the couplers. So it does have a smoke unit. It has a whistle. So let's go ahead and we'll mate it up with the rest of our train and get this thing rolling. So of course the number of the train as mentioned is 1829, the year Yingling was founded. We can also see that on the number board on the front of the engine here. And of course it does have a working uh, headlamp. Got that great uh, Yingling ingle here on the piston. Great colors on the engine. Get the minimum detail in the cab. It's still <laughs> K-Line 027, so nothing too special, but uh, being that it's Yingling, it's very special. Ooh, I gotta get more of this dust off. Okay, got my uh, bucket of brews. We got my Yingling camp on. Hmm, something else is missing. 
What could it be? There we go. Yingling Tunnel. Now we're ready. <laughs> By the way, no, I don't have a drinking problem. <laughs> I'm not an alcoholic. <laughs> There we have it, the Yingling by K-Line. Signature series, freight train set from the 1990s. Hope you enjoyed uh, checking it out. If you haven't uh, already done so, please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. You can also check us out on Patreon to support us. And uh, don't forget to go find a Yingling near you, only if you're 21 and up.